So earlier today, I did a Avengers Endgame trailer breakdown, and I missed a few things in the trailer that my subscribers were so kind to point out. So thank you for that, as always. Um, you know, when I recorded the uh, breakdown, excuse me, I had just woken up, and I just was so hyped over the movie that I didn't do that great of a job. But I have gone back now to make it up to you guys and re-watch the trailer, and I'm going to give you my thoughts and predictions on Avengers Endgame based on that second trailer. So uh, first of all, couple things I missed. Tony Stark was indeed in that shot with the Avengers walking. I missed that the first time. Not to mention that um, I, I thought it was Ant-Man jumping off of Thor's hammer, but it was actually a pencil according to what somebody said. I thought it might have been Thor's hammer for like a second there. Uh, I don't know why I thought that, but I did. It just I guess because it's sticking up or whatever. But uh, my thoughts on the trailer was we didn't really get much. And that's the thing. There aren't that many thoughts to give. They didn't give us too much. They just kind of showed things of the current cast. There was no sign of Thanos anywhere in this trailer. Um, we don't know what he's doing. You know, he went to that mysterious kind of garden at the end of Infinity War that many fans have said is the Soul Stone. They think he's inside of it. Or his brain, like his mind might be inside of that stone. Um... And some think that Gamora's in there, that her soul is in there. That's one of the big theories leaving Infinity War. Uh, nowhere to be found in this trailer. Same thing with any of the other cast members, which I'm, I'm not surprised at. Like, we didn't see um, Black Panther. We didn't see Spider-Man. We didn't see, you know, Star-Lord. Nowhere to be found. And also, from what we've seen in the trailers, there's presumably nothing with the past at all. And we know that the big theory is that the film is going to have a lot of time travel because they're going to be going through time trying to either get the Infinity Stones or clone the Infinity Stones or something to that degree. That was that information it has been around for a while. It's not really a spoiler. What we don't know is what they're going to do with any of this. There's a lot of speculation, a lot of uh, leaks on 4chan, leaks on Reddit, tons of stuff being discussed about this from fans. Um, so what I want to do is I want to give you a, my prediction, you know, on, on what I think is going to happen in the movie. And this is not necessarily things that I want to have happen, but I this is what I think is going to happen based on this trailer. So the trailer was pretty much all done to kind of build up the fact that the Avengers, despite losing to Thanos and having the entire world change before their very eyes, are not going to give up. This is not the end of the fight. And like Doctor Strange said in the previous film, you know, this is, it now is the end game. You know, the time has come. So, uh, my prediction is that I think that they are going to get new suits, obviously, but I think those might actually be time displacement suits, and I think they're going to be using that to either travel through time or maybe travel in space, because I have a weird feeling, and again, I, I don't know this, this is not a spoiler, this is all, no spoilers, this is all just, you know, speculation, prediction. I have a weird feeling they're gonna, that the next fight with Thanos is not going to be on Earth. They're going to fight somewhere else, whether it be Titan, somewhere in space, another planet. They're going to fight somewhere somewhere else that's not Earth. And, you know, there's been rumors of Mephisto showing up and other characters from that cosmic kind of, you know, magical sort of Marvel, you know, uh, I guess quadrant. I, I don't know what to really call it from Cosmic Marvel, which may or may not happen. We'll see. Um, I don't think it will. I think Thanos is still going to be the main antagonist of this film. Now, of course, Captain Marvel being as strong as she is, you know, what's her role? You know, we found out from Kevin Feige that at some point she's going to be the leader of the Avengers. And the fact that Chris Evans is done after this film, I mean, it just seems really obvious that Captain America is going to die. It just, I, I don't know how it's not going to happen. I do think at some point in this film, uh, Captain America is going to lift Thor's hammer. I do see that happening. Um, I think it was teased in Age of Ultron for a big moment here. And I do think we're going to hear Captain America say Avengers Assemble at least once in the film. Probably closer to the end when they actually have the big battle with Thanos to rectify things. Um, there are so many ways they could go with this. They could use the quantum realm to go through time or to find alternate timelines where there are other stones or to find alternate realities where the heroes have not been snapped. You know, there's a lot of ways they could do it. And all of this stuff is very, very comic booky. This is stuff that we see in these um, long, drawn out, you know, crossovers that we've had in comics for so long, many of them involving the Avengers, these extinction level events, as, as many people call them where you have literally the the future, the sanctity of the future of reality at stake here. You know, it's the biggest stakes they've ever had in these movies. 
And I do think that Scott Lang will hold the key, but of course they're going to need a higher mind to help out uh, tapping into the quantum realm. And of course with the original Ant-Man uh, and his wife and Scott's freaking girlfriend, they're all warped away. They've all been deleted due to Thanos' to snap. You know, they're going to have to go with really intelligent scientists like Bruce Banner, you know, and he's going to be the main... I guess, genius to help out here, and Tony Stark, and maybe some others as well. Um, Nebula seems to have knowledge of things like that, and of course we have Captain Marvel's Kree powers. How will that tie in? So I do think we're going to have a big final conflict with Thanos, and people are saying that they think that Captain Marvel will be the one to deliver the finishing blow. No, I think she's going to help. I think it'll be Captain America or Tony Stark. I don't think that Iron Man's going to die in this movie. I think that Captain America will I think that Tony and, and Cap are going to make up and put their beef that began in Civil War behind them for the greater good of the future. I think that's going to happen. And I think that I think Captain America will sacrifice himself. I'm going, I'm, I'm going to call it. I think it's going to happen. And uh, Captain Marvel will be the new leader of the Avengers, which I don't, I'm not looking forward to it because of the fact that. I don't think Brie Larson has enough charisma to carry being the leader. It has nothing to do with her gender or any of that stuff. Uh, the character of Carol Danvers could lead the Avengers because of her experience and you know her combat awareness and her power. But Brie Larson as an actress, I don't know if I want to see her be the leader of the Avengers. Especially when she's surrounded by other actors that are, that are more charismatic in their roles. Like a Scarlett Johansson, like a Mark Ruffalo, you know, especially Robert Downey Jr. These characters, these actors are really, really, really good at what they do. And they've been playing these characters for upwards of 10 years now. Some of them, sometimes a little bit less, a little bit more, depending on who we're talking about, longer than her. And I just don't think she's capable of to be the leader. Now, I'm not sure if Thanos dies in this movie. I have a feeling he's not going to die. I have a feeling that in future Phase 4 storylines, or maybe even Phase 5... They could easily bring him back to help out with something or to be a villain again on a smaller scale. I don't think we're ever going to see anything quite like this. But remember, this Infinity War storyline does take uh, pieces from different storylines in the comics. I don't think they're going to go back and do anything like that again. But with the Adam Warlock cocoon being teased in Guardians of the Galaxy, that could be a factor where in the future they're going to need Thanos to come in and help out with that situation should things go wrong like they did in the comics. Or possibly Adam Warlock will fight Thanos. But I don't think that Adam Warlock is going to fight Thanos in this movie. I don't think that's happening in this film. I think that's something for the future that they're going to hold on to and uh, and give it to us. I do hope that Tony Stark has a happy ending. Well, the reason why it's easier to let go of Cap is because you know his love was so far into the past. And he's, you know, he's a guy who's a fish out of water, even though now he's gotten used to the water, and he's a lovable character and made some great movies like Captain America 2 and 3, but I think his character arc has already hit. I think we've already done everything we could do with that character, even though there are more stories they could do with him, and they could keep him around. Just everything that we're hearing from Chris Evans, I just don't know. Now, Thanos, I'm sorry, Thor obviously will get his hammer back, uh, and like I said, I think that Cap will wield it. I think Thor will be crucial in the defeat of Thanos. I think he was close to beating him the first time. He might help out. I can totally see there being a combination of Thor and Captain Marvel and Hulk helping out. Hulk will get his rematch too. Hulk's arc is interesting because it's all about it's all about Bruce Banner getting control of the Hulk finally. That's what it's really about. And I think that we'll see that in the movie. We will see that. And I think that... Uh, we'll see a more intelligent Hulk, one that isn't just a big brute. I think we're going to get that in the movie. I think there's already been released materials of Hulk wearing Avengers, like an Avengers, um, you know, a, a new new piece of outfit that's been out uh, that looks pretty real. That's pretty convincing. So uh, I, I do think he's going to have that role to play as well. The arc of this movie with Ronan and everything is going to be all about the original Avengers. I think the entire purpose of the film is... This is the last time we're going to get that original Avengers crew together and they have to wrap up all the storylines. So obviously some reference will be made to Hulk and, and Black Widow's little thing. Um, I'm sure that Nick Fury will come back because he's got some more stories to tell. you know. And it's funny because I remember hearing a long time ago that Sam Jackson only had like a contract of like six movies and we've seen him do so many more. You know, He's sticking around for the long haul, but uh, 
He also doesn't have a big role either. I mean, except for Captain Marvel, and maybe in Far From Home. But uh, it's good to see him back. He ties everything together. He is the the knot here that ties everything together. Um, I don't think he's gonna do much in this movie though. I don't see it. So yeah, so it's gonna be the arc of the new characters, whereas the older characters. I'm sorry, the arc of the older characters, whereas the new characters are going to have Phase 4 to play with. We're going to get Black Panther 2, obviously Far From Home, probably a Doctor Strange 2, because they already built up who the villain was going to be at the end of Doctor Strange in the post credit scene. Obviously, there's that. Um, Guardians 3 is coming at some point. So, I mean, you know, the, the newer characters that weren't really the Phase 1 people are probably going to get more movies. Unsure if Thor will, because Ragnarok will be hard to top, but I don't see why not. I don't think we're going to get Iron Man 4, even though I wish we did, only because Iron Man 2 and 3 were big disappointments, and I want there to be a well, good Iron Man movie to wrap up that character, and there's still more they could do, but can they really? You know, they've done a lot with Iron Man, I think, too. Uh, he can't be Spider-Man's mentor forever, so ultimately, um, I'm really looking forward to the movie, and I'm glad that there aren't that many spoilers out. There's a few things out there that are speculative spoilers, and there's some that are supposed to be actual leaks, but I'm really happy that um, I'm really happy that we don't know much. And I look forward to going into that theater totally blind, you know, as far as what spoilers go and learning as we go along and following these characters on one last big adventure. It's going to be very emotional. And I think I look forward to it. I look forward to it being a big ride like Infinity War was. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. And uh, thanks for your patience with me as always. I love you guys, really. I really do. And uh, I'll talk to you all soon.